What's up, iOS developers? Welcome back. This is Sheldon again, and uh, today you are watching the first episode of iOS Quick Byte. I'm giving this video a new term because I think I'm gonna make more uh, short videos like this. In this case, I can upload much more often than usual when I make the full long time period video tutorials because uh, in this form I'm gonna focus on small topics so in this case you just need to spend only one or two minutes to to get some useful information I mean maybe not daily but I'm sure I will upload much more often than those full tutorials so like I mentioned in the Facebook group, I'm going to talk about something related to the Swift 4 new feature. Um, so I have already finished the whole project that contains a lot of information about the new features of the new strings, as well as the new dictionaries and new arrays. But in today's video, I'm going to only talk about something in the new string operations. Be sure to subscribe, stay tuned, and also follow me in the GitHub. I hope I can see you guys more uh, in my Facebook group as well so we can communicate better and I can get more feedback from you guys so let's get started so here we are at XCO 9 and uh, as you guys see and as I mentioned in the beginning of the video I have already finished the whole project that contains a lot of information regarding the new Swift for string features as well as the collection features um, by collections I mean arrays and dictionaries or sets I already have this project uploaded in my uh, in one of my github repository and I will post a link so you guys can use it uh, from the github and uh, let's create a playground for the new examples a new playground okay cool cool uh, I'm making the fonts of the text very large so you guys can see it more clearly and um, the only feature that we're going to talk about today is called um, Swift for Swift for multi line literal of string so when we mean later when we see the later i mean you may be asked by the interviewer like how can you init a string if you define a string like let's delete the first line if you define a string like this this is the uh, like the most basic way to init the string which is calling the init function and uh, this is not later but if you if you define your string like this you're directly giving the string a value and in this case it's empty string so this second one is called literal but at the end of the day string one and string two will be same they they both will be empty string in swift 4 we are very glad that apple is adding a new feature called multi-line literal actually let me copy and paste a whole a few paragraphs so let's just search news and come to here and copy and paste something let me clean the text if we print the string here it's going to be a single line but very very long string if we want to add multiple lines for example here we have to use backslash n to give a line breaker so we have to um, manually give the line breaker to to make the text have multiple paragraphs so Back to Swift 4, it is much, much easier, right? So we, we're we not going to use single quote. The thing we're going to use is triple quote. If we use triple quote, let's make the third paragraph. Even though we're not adding uh, backslash n, Swift 4 is actually helping us directly handle them into different paragraph because it will recognize the line breaker at the end of each paragraph if, only if, we're using like triple quotes. I mean, this is pretty cool, right? You don't even need to add backslash n, and it will save you a lot of time, but you can still add it. So at the end of the day, uh, it will just add one more line here. Um, the other thing is, let's make this full screen. So indent will be automatically de detected. So it will be taking the end triple quotes at the reference. If we're giving an indent at the third paragraph, you can see um, the third paragraph is having an indent. And also, if you add backslash at the end of your uh, paragraph, this means we're going to cancel the line break. So um, not only you can use these triple quotes to have multiple paragraphs, but also you can use them to make them back into one raw string. 
So that's all the topics I'm gonna talk about today. Hope this short video can really brought you some information. And in the future, I'm gonna do these quick videos as well. So stay tuned, uh, subscribe to the video, leave comments, tell me if you like this way that I'm making short videos or not. And also uh, join my Facebook group and also follow me on the GitHub. So this is it. I will see you soon in the next quick bite or long tutorial. I mean, I'm, I'm gonna still make long tutorial as well. So just give me comments like what you guys want me to do. All right, I will see you soon. Bye.